Hey folks, I'm working on my camera crawler again. We're still trying to get to the point where we have a radio control rock crawler. So here is the crawler. It's mostly assembled. We're going to start on what I think is cool parts, which is, yeah, we're going to leave that over there. So we're going to install the speed controller because yeah, it's really, it ain't going nowhere without this. And again, check the, uh, comments for links to what I'm using. Oh, isn't that cute? They include stickers that are never going to get used. Alright, once we get this out of here, nice they give us a little bit of double stick tape and some zip ties this is nice double stick tape I might add it's a very high bond 3M no telling if it's actually legit but this is good double stick tape And instantly it's set up for non-lipo, so we've got to change the setting by moving the jumper. Looks like a fairly nice uh, speed controller. So the hard part So this is supposed to go in right here, next to the motor. And I think to do that, it needs to go right there. So that gives us that, a little BEC action, and now we got to figure out how to hook this up. So I'm going to do black to blue. These bullet connectors are not my choice of, you know, this is going to get shortened. There we go. So we'll do that over here too. So there's just a little too much uh, tubing over it, and it, it prevents you from getting a good mechanical insertion. And then we will use one of the included micro zip ties to keep the wires off the motor.
Now we have... That's for the lights. That's for the battery. And we've got a power switch here that we need to figure out where we're going to install. I don't really see that they included a place for it, so it's just going to get um, zip tied up in here. I'm looking just to see if there's some place that... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to stick it down there. Nice that they included this VHB tape. It's good tape. So I'm going to stick the switch down here. But first, I got to get the liner off the VHB. So I stuck it down here because I want it out of the way where it can't be accidentally bumped. So that's a good spot for it. So I'm recycling a Turnergy radio that I bought for something else. And that'll be fine. It is a 2.4 gigahertz. It's actually an air system, but again, it'll it'll be just fine. So, surplus heat shrink to and some foam. It's really amazing how small these have gotten. This would have barely fit in here, and now the foam barely fits on it. So I'm going to drop this in here. And then use these little exit spaces. And we're actually just going to route these out. And you do not want to trim these. These are already trimmed at the factory, and microwave is super, super sensitive to um, the length of the antenna because it's such a small. So I think we're going to route one of them out through this little hole here. And then the other can just be underneath. I wonder if we can get both of them. No, both of them are not going to fit. 
So I'm going to go modify this because I do want it to come out the top. Alright, so. I uh, changed the location of these. And I just used whatever small drill bit I could find. And then they're going to go in here like that, and that'll just bring these out. We'll probably actually do this with them, because that gives us nice diversity, which is the whole point of two. Yep, that looks about right. So, we're not there yet. So let's pull this back out. And I'm thinking black is negative. get the servo from the front You know what? Channel 2 should be throttle. So that gives us, that should be the basics of car. Run to channel one, channel two. That, that should give us what it takes to be a car. Now, we need to finally open up these batteries that we picked up on Amazon. And this particular battery is not on Amazon anymore, um, but there's, you know, I don't think the spec is is uh, critical. These are hard case batteries, which I thought would do a little bit better. And. Um, Yeah, I don't know exactly where they're going to go. They might 
be too big. And they might just have to go in like this. Because that does work. Not really where how I wanted to see them, but you know, let me get them on the charger. Adapter for the charger, so they ain't gonna run today. Um, but I am gonna mess with the video transmitter. I'm just gonna at least look at it. It's a little itty bitty unit. It just snaps in. All right. And then we have a multi plug, part of which is power and part of which is not. And then I'm still not 100% sure where we want to put this. Uh, unfortunately, due to the layout. not bad. I was not going to get into the camera today, but eh, yeah, yeah. So it's a little foxier camera. stickers that go in the trash. So this is the little camera that we're going to use. And it conveniently comes with its own plug, but I don't think it needs it. Oh yes it does. And it comes with a little programming board. And some little screws that fly all over the place. Shame on me. Okay, so apparently the way this works is this connector goes on here.
Okay. And then, do these play nice? No, they don't. So we'll have to decode the wires and figure out how to mate them. Not really a big deal. This will eventually go on um, a gimbal. It's probably going to get mounted with hot glue because I don't see any other way to mount it. I don't even know what the screws were for. Oh, I think the screws went in the side. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, nowhere to be found. So we will sort through this. Well, there's one. Wow, so I'm looking for one of these. All right, that might be easier to find with a magnet. Sorry. Oh, there it is. It was under the crawler. So, in the interest of, net, of making sure we can find these again, we're going to go ahead and put them on the camera. Alright, so we're going to need to keep this stuff. And we'll go ahead and kind of glance at this.
So, what I'm planning to do is mount this camera in here. And I'm guessing that the transmitter needs to go in this neighborhood here. So you guys can see what I'm up to. Put the transmitter up here, and it'll be okay. Now, I thought I ordered an antenna for this. Let me look around. 